so hello everyone welcome again and today i'm going to show you another project actually it's same project that's called student management system but in the different technology so this time we are going to use a spring mvc framework to build this project so let's the the functionality will be same i just changed the technology from the back end so you can check the server latest picture here uh, for the spring which contain all the supported file or the libraries about the spring so it's following the mbc architecture and working on the spring and uh, to manage the backend database it's using the hibernate and it's running on the tomcat server so let's run the project and check the functionalities so i'm gonna run it run on the server i'm gonna select a server is a tomcat 8.5 click on the finish so it's a home page and let's log in with the user so again there are three types of user the first user will be uh, let me show you the table this is the table this is the database for the student management system for spring and if i gonna check the user table here so there will be again three users uh, the first one will be admin with a role id 1 and role id 2 will be the faculty and third will be for the student so uh, sorry the third will be for the faculty and two will be for the student so you can see the your login id here admin at the gmail.com and the password admin at the one two three the role id is one again here for the student this and you can change the this, this, this data or you can um, um, enter the new data here so let's log in with the admin and check what are the operations an admin can perform or the application so admin at the rate one two three okay admin at the rate one two three is a password for here so, password. Okay. so again there is an administration part under the administration part uh, what a admin can do admin can add administrative uh, assignments admin can add a subject admin can add a attendance add a user add a fees so for example if I'm gonna add a user here so just click on this new form will be admin the new form form will be open and uh, in this form we need to some simple data like what are the mandatory data is there so for example I want to add a student new student here so I click select the student and the student now and the student name as a for example I'm gonna enter P and the last name is so tail and uh, so what the email id email id should be in a proper format like uh, at the rate gmail.com password password will be demo at the rate one two three so again repeat the same password the phone number any ten digit phone number okay and then select the gender so select a mail date of birth so 08081992 again email id we can copy well the same id here select the country so i select some dummy data here i'm only going to enter the real data to save the time right so address one address two for the student and i click on the save button when I click the save button, the data is saved successfully and the new data in the record, you can check here, should be there. Yeah, the fourth entry is there with address 1, address 2 and the login ID and the password as we enter over there from the front end demo. The red one two three is a password and copy at the red gmail is dot com as a user ID. So uh, similarly, you can add an assignment as an admin. So if you want to add a new assignment, you can fill this form. You're gonna add a subject. You can fill this form uh, according to the subject. Whenever you add a subject, for example, I'm gonna add a subject as a as a as a, as a, as a, as a, as a spec flow or something, some tool like right, some programming language or any subject you want. Just enter the description. Click on the save subject. And if you want uh, add assignment related to this subject, you can select the subject from here. You can see the new subject spec flow in the drop down, and the assignment title and the day, due date, and you can fill this form also. And add attendance, add attendance for the particular user. 
for uh, sorry particularly students so you can select the subject here and you can select the student name so you can add attendance according to the subject or according to the student click on the save button same uh, add user is done add fees add fees like whatever the fees you wanna pay or if some student gonna pay some fees to you so you just select the student name and select the month for whatever the month the student gonna pay in the amount and the date and click on the save same if i don't want to check the report i mean can check loss of records like admins report like there may might be there there will be multiple admins so admin can check the report of admins admin can check the report of students so what is the format of the report here uh, so this is the format the data will show in the table format and if user gonna select the uh, report as a student report you can check the report in this format table format there is an option to search by name search by email and you can select the records you can edit the records you can delete the records if i wanna i wanna delete the record i just need to select it here and click on the delete button the record is gone so again i'm gonna move to student report and the only one record is there and the teachers report means the data of the faculties available faculty in the database you can same similarly perform all the operations on all the reports like edit delete update assignment reports what are the assignments you assign to any student the assignments is there and the subject report it means all the subjects available subject data is there you can edit the data from here and the mark sheet report the very important thing like a, when a faculty going to add a mark sheet and the mark sheet will show here and merit list market merit list like who is the topper here so the list will be there and the then fees report and the very common thing is my account and under the my account you will find the my profile section for the admin and the change password right so let's log out from the admin section and log in as a faculty so faculty for the password for the faculty fact at the rate one two three so I think it's password. Okay, the username is faculty at the rate gmail. So I'm gonna enter this. I will take a password. No, it's invalid. So I have to enter this password here. So I'm gonna enter the password here. I'm gonna sign in in the application. And again, uh, we have admin parts. So similarly there is a new part for the faculty is the add a mark sheet so um, a mark sheet will be set by the um, teacher for the student like can we call the student right now in the database we already delete the demo uh, user so okay student so chem chem echo is there so you can select the user a student you can enter the rule number you can the marks and the click on the save so when you click on the save it will generate a mark sheet like this and again the same report format is there as we have seen in the admin section and under the my account section again we have my profile for the faculty and the change password this is gonna click log out click on the log out now it's time to log in as a student so let's log in as a student me is it data is not saved in the browser so again I'm gonna enter. so this data we already deleted let's replace that database it might be gone let's it's, it's, it's gone now so now <coughs> where it is the email address okay login id so login id is a student at the gmail.com Okay, this one and the password is already there. So uh, a student can get the mark sheet for their student need to enter his roll number. So what is the roll number? You can check the roll number in the database table or whenever the teacher is going to pass the roll number to a student. So in the table you will find the roll number column <coughs> under the <coughs> mark sheet table. <coughs> let me check it so here is the roll number so just select this roll number and enter the roll number here 
we go to mass it you will get the beautiful mass it here in the table format and all the calculation is doing automatically the percentage the path something so total marks and marks user get out of the again uh, there is no option for the administration and so the user for the student he can check his detail his fees detail his assignments whatever the assignment is getting he can check this in a student and again the my profile and the change password so uh, this is a complete student management system or you can say complete information system for uh, your college level major or minor project if you are you are going to prepare some interview preparation you can overview this code <coughs> now we'll share the code definitely and uh, we'll provide the link in description box how can you get this code it's not free so you have to pay a little bit amount for this the process you will get in the description box you can check the description box you can contact Corwin team will provide the quick response and the source code database and the complete project report so uh, whenever you wanna contact with us you can contact us you can mail us you can call our contact number you can ping us over the whatsapp and we'll provide the source code even if you're gonna take the source code we are going to configure that code at your machine and make the source code is run that's our guarantee guys like we are now we are um, we will assign a member to you a personal assistant he is going to help you during the your configuration he will make the project run at your machine and uh, thank you so much for watching if you need any kind of project in as well i have a jsp and the spring you can contact over the uh, contact detail thank you